Hi guys, Michel here with Michel Real Estate and this time I'll be handling the question whether it's better to purchase a property in Luxembourg or whether it's better to rent one. Now there are a lot of videos out there which can explain to you what the calculations are that you need to consider when you are thinking of renting and which calculations you need to consider when you're thinking of buying a property. But in this video, we'll go more specifically into the Luxembourgish market to give a proper answer. First up, purchasing a property, of course, is not very flexible. You're going to have to get a loan and that loan is usually going to be over a period of, let's say, 25 to even maybe 30 years. And that makes it a bit difficult to just flip between properties, meaning that moving in and out of another one means that you have to sell one in order to purchase another one. And that makes it somewhat non-flexible. Renting on the other hand might be a bit more flexible since you can more easily move from one property to another. Basically if your family is getting bigger and you are in an apartment and wish to go to a bigger one well you just cancel your uh, agreement with the landlord there and move into the next one. Now renting might be a solution for younger people that don't have enough money for a down payment on the loan when they want to purchase a property. So if you want to rent a property in order to save some money, you might have a solution there by building up every month some savings and then having a large enough down payment for the bank to give you a loan. But in my opinion, the most important question that you need to ask yourself, usually as an expat, is whether or not you're going to be staying in this country for a longer period of time. Meaning more than a year, more than two years. If you are purchasing a property and you're going to move out within two years out of the country, well, now you got to give it under management in order to get it rented or you need to sell it and sometimes you need to sell it quickly in order to move on fast. And this might hurt the prices property, meaning that you might go along with a low ball offer just to get rid of the property. And that's not what I want for you. Now, if you consider that this video has brought you any value whatsoever, then please give this video a like or maybe even subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my new videos. Thank you so much for doing it. Thank you. Now, in order to correctly answer the question renting or buying, we have to consider that Luxembourg is a very specific market and that you as a renter do not have as many choices as you might think. It's not as flexible as you might think. I'm saying this because I've seen many properties being rented where the landlords had a large choice of possible candidates which handed in their files and eventually the landlords went along with one of those files which means that you as a renter are basically competing with other renters and it might be that the property that you liked so much well you might not get it just because there's a better file that was handed to a landlord and that's a shame and it might be too bad on the other hand, if you purchase a property, well, money speaks and the one that comes with the highest amount, the biggest offer, basically gets the property. And then, of course, there is the cancellation period, which basically means that you have to give three months notice. So if you give three months notice and you are in between properties, it also means that the next landlord will basically have to wait for you to get into the apartment and start paying the rent. Or you might actually consider paying two rents in the same time during those three months. But that's not in your advantage. So that's a big negative, in my opinion, when it comes to renting in Luxembourg. And if you are a renter and you are considering maybe renting a house because the family got bigger, maybe you want to enjoy a nice garden, maybe you need more parking spaces. Well, houses are very rare on the market. So sorry to bring the bad news, but you might actually be in fierce competition with actually other renters that are looking to do exactly the same thing as you and rent a house. Properties move incredibly fast if it's a house and you might be in such fierce competition that you actually in your life as a renter might never ever encounter a house for rent and if you do you need to be so fast that it actually can be rented within hours. Now, if you're considering purchasing a property, well, the market here in Luxembourg is pretty stable, which basically means that if you are considering purchasing a property, you get to benefit from the rises in prices that we have seen in the last couple of years. Uh, even during the pandemic, we have now not really seen a big dip 
happen well we actually see in certain areas we see that the prices are still rising so if you become a landlord yourself well you can benefit from this upswing as well but of course whatever happened in the past is not a guarantee for the future so please just keep that in mind please do that and then there's of course the interest rates at this moment they are kind of low which means that if you are considering purchasing property you might actually end up with a monthly payment that is lower than if you would actually rent a similar property so keep that in mind that is actually one of the big favorable aspects that make me lean towards purchasing a property as opposed to renting one and of course once you become a landlord well you get to benefit from all the upswings of the market of course all the downswings well you also have to take them for granted but lately we have seen the housing market move upwards sometimes 10 percent per year of course that does not mean that every single house increased in price 10 percent every single year that's just not the case certain areas do very well certain not so much but of course it's always good to know that as a landlord once you sell it and you are ready to retire maybe you will do so on a nice sunny island in the canaries who knows now maybe this video has not answered your question and maybe you have more subjects that i could handle for you you can either leave me a comment here below or of course you can subscribe to my channel you can leave me a message also on whatsapp right here or you can just follow me on the other social media like twitter facebook and instagram i hope of course to see you in my next video again my name is michel with michel real estate thank you so much for watching